Hi, I'm Shannon, and I want to talk to you now about greeting others with love. And this next love skill is about voicing a love message. Voicing a love message. Until this point, in greetings, we haven't voiced anything. We've hugged, we've connected with our eyes, we've set a love intention, um, and we've smiled. But we haven't yet voiced anything. And that means to open your mouth and speak from your heart. And I deliberately didn't plan anything to say in this particular um, video because I wanted to be authentic in how I actually voice a love message. Because I don't have any favorite thing I say, favorite message or whatever. But I thought I would spontaneously speak to you from my heart and show you some examples of how you could, or how I, voice love messages. Okay, so I'm tuning into divine love right now. And, you know, even though we haven't met in person, I'm guided to share with you that I'm just so happy that you're watching this video and that we can speak uh, about love and connect in a loving way. That's a voice message. I just voiced a love message. Um, now let me think of another one. I'm listening to Divine Love to see what, what could I say, what would be appropriate, and what would be true to my heart, too. I think I will, I know you well enough to say um, that what I hope for you today and every day and for the rest of your life is that you might live in the heart of love and that you might know the love that you're, you're truly of and that is your true essence and that is the truth about you because you are a love master each of us is a love master in training a love master who is waking up to the love that we deserve to the love that we deserve to love ourselves with to the love that we deserve to give to others to the love that we deserve to be loved with and this is another way to voice a love message how does it feel so far it's pretty intimate isn't it Sometimes just a, a brief little love message that I might say to someone that I've just met is, or someone I know and, you know, it's just a passing kind of thing, a greeting, I'll just say, gosh, it's good to see you. You've been on my mind and I'm so glad, I'm just so glad to see you. i say something like that. Or I might say, um, I've been thinking about you. In fact, I just called my cousin earlier and I said, you know, it seems that I have to think about you 50 times before I pick up the phone and finally make that call. And that's a voice, a voicing a love message because I love her, but we don't connect very often. Uh, so it's very meaningful when we do. So today, I want you to, and I'm really encouraging you to do this, even if you've never done it before. If you're not quite sure, how are you going to learn unless you try? So think of someone, maybe someone you know and love who you're safe with, and try voicing a love message. And then after you do it, notice well, how was it? How did it go? How did you think it made them feel? They might not even tell you, but I'll guarantee you, they will love it. Um, and encourage yourself to do it again and again and again. And the more you do it, the more you will stay in your own heart, and the more you will live from your heart, from your love, which is your high ideal. This is a principle to live by. This is what it means to live as a love master. So go out there and voice a love message.